poppin' Hoogan Nation, it's your boy Uncle Rusty. I'm officially reporting for video duty. If you don't know about me, you better ask about me. And guess what we have for you guys today? Today is story time with Uncle Rusty. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Here we go. Let's get the story popping. So, once upon a time, Uncle Rusty was feeling depressed, so I decided to stop at this bar on the way home from work. So, I pulled into my parking spot, I went inside this bar, I had one too many by the time I had made it out, and these nice gentlemen, they pulled up and they insisted that I come with them. So, I usually wouldn't ride with strangers, but I couldn't find my car and they pulled up in a nice flashy one. And they were such nice guys. They said they were going to take me away for a while. And I'm like, what the hell, man? I, I need a vacation anyways. So they take me to this motel. So I get to my destination and the bellhop wants all of my belongings. So I'm assuming, you know, this is like a spa weekend. They want you to focus only on yourself. So you don't have your belongings with you. All right. Now they lead me down this long hallway to show me to my room. And it was so nice of them because they didn't even charge me one dime. They let me stay there for free, okay? Now, I did have a couple of issues uh, with some of the other things that was going on there. Like, I went to the shower and there was like just bars of soap, like, like everywhere on the floor. And I'm like, who, who doesn't pick up a bar of soap? You know, you drop something, you pick it up. And also, we only had one television, so I had this issue with this guy named James. Uh, I wanted to watch Golden Girls. He wanted to watch Full House. So, we flipped channels back and forth for a little while. Now, at this point, we have a problem, okay? Because I love my Golden Girls. He told me if I flipped it back to Golden Girls one more time, that he was going to shank me. And it sounded very sexual and perverted to me, so I had to let him know. Dude, I'm married, I have a wife. And out of nowhere, POW! I hit that dude straight in his mouth, and he dropped like a fly, because, you know, James is a big guy, and my mama always taught me, if you think that you come across somebody that you can't beat up, you sucker punch the crap out of them, and that's exactly what I did. And then I was able to watch my Golden Girls. It was one of the ones where Blanche slept with some old dude. And you know what? You, you want to know why Uncle Rusty got his way? It's because... I am a superstar! But then I met this guy named Pablo and he said, Hey, Holmes, being shanked is a good thing. If you get shanked, you're on your stripes, essay. So I thought to myself, hmm, I want my stripes. So I went around to all the other guests that were staying at this particular motel and asked if they could shank me, but nobody would do it. So I went back to Pablo and told him that nobody would shank me. And he says, hey, nobody wants to mess with you, Holmes. They think you are a crazy white boy for wanting to be shanked, essay. So I was just like, oh, well, I guess I would never get my stripes. And Pablo was like, hey, Holmes, you've already earned him, essay. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. So I felt very accomplished that I had earned my stripes and I had the respect of everyone in the motel at this point. So I got a good night's rest, but the next morning the continental breakfast was not all that. And I'm pretty sure that the lunch lady may have been on drugs. After breakfast, they showed me a spot that was like an adult playground. And at this point, I'm thinking, this is not a motel. This is a resort because they had a whole basketball court. Uh, they gave me a free gym membership. And at one point, we even played a, what looked like dodgeball, except I didn't see any balls. This resort even had a small general store. And I even got credit there. The guy who runs it, his name was Brandon, and he gave me some honey buns and said that I would just owe him a favor later on. Did you know that they even have movie night there? One of the employees told me I'd be leaving the next day. I wasn't quite ready to leave my vacation, so I asked other resort guests who I could pay to stay another night. They told me to go see a guy named Warden. I assumed that was his last name, I don't know, but I went and found him, and uh, I told him, I said, look, Mr. Warden, I would really like to stay a little while longer. Uh, who do I have to pay around here? And he said, you've already paid your debt. 
you are leaving in the morning. I was a little disappointed, but it is what it is. So I decided to celebrate the last night with the guys, and I asked, where is the nearest bar? And everybody laughed at me for some reason. I don't know why, but then this guy came up to me and said he had some hooch. And I said, what is hooch? And he said, it's an alcoholic beverage. So I traded the honey buns that I got from Brandon, and he gave me some hooch. And it was very, very nice of him. So then, I really wanted to go and see Mr. Warden and have a toast with him for being nice enough to let me stay at his place for the weekend. And sure enough, as soon as I tried to give him a glass of hooch, he must have had a change of heart because he said I was staying another night. Which was awesome because we threw a huge party that night. But eventually I did have to get home from my vacation so I went and said goodbye to some of my best friends. They told me to be good and never come back, which was weird because why wouldn't they want me to come back? But anyways, they gave me a free bus ride back home. And ever since I've been trying to find this resort again, but I can't seem to get in there. Please leave in the comment section if you guys know how I can go back to this resort or make reservations or something like that. Also, we will be dropping a video every single Sunday from here on out. It's going to be Hooligan Sunday. Every video will be dropping at 4 p.m. every single Sunday. Now, you might get a reaction video, you might get a comedy skit, you might get pranks. Uh, the only thing for sure about the Backyard Hooligans is that nothing is for sure. But Sundays at 4 o'clock p.m. is Hooligan Sunday. And now it's time for Random Thoughts with Agent Waffles. Hey, uh, Uncle Rusty, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's, a, it's a scary situation. But, uh, I think you got ghosts, man. I, I really do. Agent Waffles says hey, Uncle Rusty's got ghosts. Thank you, Agent Waffles. I'm so out.